Oki Pigani, Tanitapi, Nitaniko, Adam North Pagan. I'm here today to make an to make an important announcement for all Pigani. To begin with, my parents are the late John North Pagan and the late Catherine Crow Eagle. Some of you may have known her as Gumi. My paternal grandparents are Charlie and Alice Crow Eagle, and my paternal grandparents are Victor and Nora North Pagan. I'm very proud of my Pigani lineage. For those of you that may not be aware of my background, I am a product of the residential school as both of my parents attended residential school here in Brockett. I and a lot of my siblings were part of the forced removal by Child Welfare Services in the 1960s as part of the government policy known as the 60s scoop. As an infant in the mid-1960s, I was removed and placed in numerous non-Indigenous foster homes and children's shelters all across southern Alberta. Residential schools and the 60s scoop completely destroyed my family, much like a lot of other families in Bigani. For those of you that wish to watch my story and learn more about me, you can watch a documentary on this page that was done by CBC Historica Canada and filmed in Bigani. It is a powerful story of loss, strength, resilience, and hope. As you may be aware or not aware, early this past week, the band office posted a notice to our community for a chief electoral officer. With that notice triggers a valid, legitimate, and legal general election for chief and council by the end of the year. The chief electoral officer must be a Begunny Nation band member and be familiar with our election code. Both the election code and notice to community have been posted on this page for all Begunny to take a look at. I, like others in our community, are feeling a sense of relief as change is on the horizon as an election will generate a lot of excitement for Bikani as we will each be able to participate by casting a ballot, a ballot who should lead our nation as a member of Chief and Council. As I have always been an engaged nation member, I am anticipating that once a Chief Electoral Officer is appointed, a nomination day will be set for some time at the end of November, early December, with an election date early in January of 2023. Campaign season will be in full swing over the holiday season. Over the next few months, there will be a lot to consider and think about for all of us, as it will be an important time for Bikani. Nation members will be stepping up to the, to the plate to declare their candidacy for a chief or a council position as our nation will be led by one chief and eight council members. I'm excited for, for what that change will bring for all of us. As we are now in mid-October, a couple of months away from election day, there are probably a lot of us heavily weighing our options. I want to share with you that I too have been thinking about my future aspirations for Bikani for quite some time. I can say that I've been approached by nation members, but my announcement today is a personal decision. After carefully talking to my family, some of our elders and supporters, I have made the decision that through this campaign period, I will be a candidate for chief for our community. This decision does not come lightly as there is a lot to consider before making a decision. As you know, I have served leadership in our community from 2007 to 2011 as an elected council member. I am truly grateful for that experience as I matured and learned a lot. I thank Pikani for giving me that opportunity. I have not run in our past elections for the past three years and that doesn't mean I have not been engaged as a Bikani Nation member. No matter what I was doing, I was always keen about what was happening at home in Bikani as I truly care about our people and I always maintain passion for Bikani as that's where home is for me. I'm so proud to be Bikani as there was a time in my life I felt shame because of my upbringing. If any of you have been following my Facebook page in the past years, you will notice that I've been keeping myself very busy, constantly advocating for change to improve the lives of all Indigenous people in Canada. I can honestly admit that I have accomplished a lot in my career. 
as some of the highlights have been leading the charge for all survivors on reconciliation in Canada for the atrocities of the 60s scoop, addressing systemic racism towards the Indigenous people in Canada, educating mainstream Canadians on the colonization of our people, bringing awareness of the intergenerational impacts of residential schools in Canada, and one thing that I'm very proud of is providing leadership in the protection of the environment in Bikani ancestral lands from government and industry mining projects through the Bikani Mountain Child Valley Society. The work done through the Mountain Child, Mountain Child Valley Society was more than about protecting the environment. It was about asserting our Bikani inherent rights in our traditional territory and ancestral lands outside the borders of the government-imposed Bikani Reserve through the Indian Act. This is something that we Bikani must continue to, to do going forward is assert what is rightfully ours as there was a time when we were a very peaceful society filled with a lot of integrity with strong values on community supporting one another. We need to restore those values to move our nation forward. I am aware that currently our nation is filled with a lot of, with lateral violence that stems from the impacts of years of, of colonization as we are still feeling the impacts of residential schools. It saddens me to see nation members inflicting pain and suffering on one another through lateral violence. Rest assured, it is not our fault. As we, like all other First Nation communities in Canada, have suffered oppression by government policies. It's time to hold government accountable for its wrongdoings and, and much of my career has focused on bringing about meaningful reconciliation. I am truly honoured to be Bikani and proud of where I come from and I, am passion and I passionately care for Bikani as I only want what is, in, what is best for us so that we can move forward with prosperity. I know there are many concerns and challenges we as a nation face going into this election such as the opioid crisis, lack of housing that increases the homelessness, support programs for our young ones as our most important resource is our youth, lack of accountability and transparency from leadership and our administration, poverty, financial uncertainty for nation members, lack of support for community interest groups such as our Picani veterans, enhanced support for our elders, and the list goes on and on as these are only a few. Over the next few months, I am committed to meet with as many nation members in building a vision for Bikani, resulting in developing a strong campaign platform for all of us as I remain inclusive and not exclusive. Each of us are resilient in our own way as we know what is in the best interest for all Bikani. Each of us are our own best resource and it's time that we come together to chart our own destiny that will result in a prosperous future for all Bikani. I believe that once we come up with a community plan that I have the skills and experience to lead our nation as your chief. As our campaign moves forward and a vision for Bikani is developed, I will make a, a separate announcement on that campaign platform at a later date as today was meant to just make a formal announcement on my candidacy for chief only. I am humbled with the ongoing support from community thus far and I anticipate the momentum will continue to grow. I know that I am probably the first to declare my candidacy as there are a lot of rumors circulating in the community who is considering running for leadership. I welcome those candidates that may come forward as we all bring a wealth of ideas and thoughts to the table. It is time to empower our community as we are all resourceful and strength in numbers. I will also be the first to admit that I have made mistakes in my life as I know I am not perfect. However, I am optimistic that you will not pass judgment on my past but rather the man that I am today. I have made significant changes in my life today with wellness by embracing the rich culture and beliefs of our Blackfoot culture and traditions into my daily life as I am truly proud to be Bikani. I pledge to be a chief for all Bikani, no matter our differences in our opinions and values, as leadership is not about advancing myself, but rather advancing our nation as a whole. I have created this page as a venue for all of us to generate discussion and meaningfully engage all Bikani. 
So let's all continue to build momentum by inviting Begunny members to like and follow my campaign page as an opportunity to be engaged in developing a vision for Begunny. Please continue to monitor this page frequently as I will be posting when I will be at home to meet with Nation members as I am commi committed to be more visible and accessible at home. I am currently in the process of looking for suitable living arrangements closer to home in either Fort McLeod or Pincher Creek as I do not have a house in Begunny. I'm also available at any time to be contacted through social media and texting or calling me at 780-935-9827. Once again, that's 780-935-9827. I will always make myself available to our community. Finally, I want to thank you for your time today and humbly ask for your support as a candidate for Chief and wish you all a good weekend that is filled with much optimism for a healthy and prosperous future for all Bikani. Thank you. Get a medicine.